Hello everyone and welcome to part three of the Art Impressions Easter Journal series. Uh, this is the center of the journal that we're going to be tackling today and uh, we're going to be doing the watercolor projects first and then once those are finished we're going to go on and assemble them into our journal. So let's start out with uh, the stamps that we're going to be using. So the little basket that these little characters are in are from the Birdhouse Village set. This is 5739, the little basket right here. And then uh, from the from the bunny and chick set, uh, number 5737, we're gonna use this little bunny that's gonna go in this basket here, and then two of the three chicks that are right here. So these two right here, uh, I stamped in this little basket. And then the little eggs from the um, Easter egg house set. So three of them, three of them here, and then just two of them over here next to this little basket. And then flowers and foliage. So the little um, daisy bunch right here from flower set 4052. Uh, foliage, the little grasses. And then um, foliage set four, the vines, the two little vines. And then a long stem. And I just chose these two um, for this uh, for this set of um, watercolors. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. I'm gonna set one of these to the side and we're going to get started on this, um, on this project. So let me grab my palette. And here we go. Let's just zoom in a little bit closer and let me make sure that I'm in the center. Here we go. All right, so I'm gonna start out by uh, getting my brush wet, dipping my brush in water, and then pulling the color um, out of the lines. Just like this. This is really how we always start uh, the projects, just by taking this step. And it actually, you know, kind of gives us a visual of this little project that is three dimensional. And it's just a little easier to see kind of where we're going. And it just, it changes everything so much um, just with this one step. Okay, so we've got this little guy and you know what, we might as well just, let's do this one too while we're at it. So the little chicks, we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna just pull the color out of the lines, just like this, and across here, and just down along here. And you can see I'm not spending too much time on it. I'm just kind of getting uh, the basic color out of the lines. All right, there we go. So let's go ahead and add some color now to our palette, and I'm going to add some warm brown. So this is the 947. And that is the color that I am going to uh, color this little bunny in. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit of this and start here where his little ears are. I wanna keep his face pretty light. He's looking up, so this is where the highlight would be. And we don't wanna get too much color um, on his face. So we really wanna keep his eyes and his nose pretty light. But you can see I can put plenty of color on his cheek. And actually what that does is it, it sort of brings his cheek forward. And then, you know, the, the object is always to, you know, make things look three-dimensional. So that's what we're, that's always what we're trying to do. All right, so I'm going to take my uh, twin tone now and I'm going to just darken his, his little eye. And his little nose. All right, let's add some color now to the eggs. And I'm just going to add some color to my palette. This is uh, number 676. And then how about this really bright blue, 526. And then um, a yellow, how about a yellow, 993. All right, good colors. So let's start out with the light one. And we're gonna do this egg back here in the background. And I wanna be sure to leave a highlight on the top of this egg so we can make sure to see that it's rounded. And then I'm gonna just take a little orange and just darken it a little bit under here. Kind of where the shadow is we're gonna make that just a little bit darker. 
And then let's go on to the other two eggs and we're gonna leave those white. So that just means that we're going to put a little shadow on them with a dark blue. So I'm just gonna kinda come under here like this so I can get that shadow on those eggs on the bottom. You see how that makes them look rounded? Uh, just, by, just by putting this little circular shadow under here. And basically what that's doing is making the sides darker than the center. So the center at the top is where the lightest area is. And so that's where we want um, it to be the lightest. So let's do uh, something here. Like so. And then let's do another one of those uh, with a really pretty blue. And there we go, we've got our little eggs done. So let's go ahead and add some grasses in here to the bottom. And I'm just gonna kind of stamp it down like this. And I can, I can just put, you know, a couple, just a little blade of grass right in between there. And then I just, I'm just pulling that color um, just up, kind of up and out. I don't want to uh, just color that grass and stop right where the blades end. I want to pull that color just all the way up and out to make it look more natural. All right, so let's take our little vine now and we're going to just kind of grow this vine um, all the way up the basket. So it's gonna kind of come from down here and then we're just gonna kind of go up like this. And then maybe just a little bit more up here. And then I'm gonna add uh, some uh, little blooms into the basket here. Just like that. And then I, I'm gonna just clean that off, clean that stamp off, uh, just using a baby wipe. And then I'm gonna add some orange in here. Just kind of back here in the background. And maybe just a little bit out here. So you don't have to ink the whole thing. You can see that I'm just inking a couple of these um, little blooms. And now I'm gonna get my brush and I'm just going to dab. The pink, kind of purpley pink. It's really pretty violet color. And then let's take a little of this blue now and we're going to put it uh, into the sky. I just love this really pretty warm blue, um, especially for things like Easter and spring. It's got a really um, pretty vintagey look to it. And um, it just reminds me of those, you know, old vintage Easter cards, you know, with the bunnies and I just think they're so cute. So I'm always just kind of drawn to that blue when I'm doing things like this. Things that are a little more whimsical and um, with, you know, little characters and stuff. Okay, so now I've got some sky in here, just kind of here and there. All right, let's add some color now to the bow that's at the top. And you know, with the bow, we've got a little highlight on the top, so we want to make sure to see that. And then we're going to, you know, color every section in individually. Just each section uh, we want to do individually. So that just means that we don't want to cross any lines. Just like that. And then we can go back over it again if we wanna make it a little bit darker.
There we go. And I'm gonna take my bullet tip now and I'm just gonna really darken this area inside the bow. And then I can kind of go over that with my brush again too. Okay, that looks good. So now let's do something a little decorative onto the handle. So we're gonna kind of, you know, make it look like this ribbon is winding its way down the handle of the basket. And I'm just kind of making little squares onto um, the handle. So now I'm gonna take a little more of this blue out here, and I'm just gonna put a little shadow under the lip of the basket. And just kind of in here also. Okay, that looks good. So let's add some more florals in here. Uh, we're gonna add these little ones. So I'm gonna ink these up in the purple. And you can, you can ink, these, ink these up in whatever color um, that you want to ink them in. There's no set color for things like this. And then I'm just gonna stamp them in here like this. And then I'm gonna ink them again. Just the blooms, so I'm inking the blooms with the purple. And then I'm inking the stem and not the whole stem. I don't need the whole stem, just a few of the leaves. And I'm just gonna turn this so that I can get it just like this. And then I'm just gonna add a little tiny bit of water to it, to these little blooms. But I wanna leave some of that white, so I don't wanna, I don't wanna color it all in solid. just a little shadow underneath um, these little eggs and the little basket. Like so. And then we're gonna add some white to this. Um, so we're gonna set it aside for now and then we'll go on to our little chicks and then we'll get our white paint out and um, add our highlights to it with the white paint. So let's continue on here, um, our little chicks. Let's go ahead and color those. We're gonna use the yellow and just a little bit of the orange. So the 993 and then a little of the orange and the orange is, um, nope, this is not, nine, this is 993 and this is 933, 933. Too similar sounding. Okay, so we're going to add some yellow now to the chicks and you can see they're rounded. They're definitely rounded. So they're gonna have a highlight. And again, even though they're small, we wanna keep that color um, away from their face, their little faces. But see their ch little chests need to be lighter than the sides. And then I'm just gonna take some of this orange, a little of this orange, and just put a little orange on here. Just in the areas that, you know, would be the darkest. Oh, and you know what, we forgot, we forgot the little cheek on the bunny. So let's do that while we're doing the cheek on the, on the little chicks. So I'm gonna just take a little of this red and I'm just gonna color in the little cheeks of these little chicks, the cheeks on the chicks. Not too bright, but it's easy to kind of wash it out if you feel like you got it too, too bright on here. Um, just dip your brush in water and um, just kind of blend it out. But this little guy, we didn't get his pink cheeks in here. 
we gotta do that. All right, there we go. Now we can push him aside and let's finish up with these. Um, we're gonna use the bullet tip now from the orange pen and we're just gonna get their little beaks. And if I can see any of their little feet sticking out or their legs, I can get those. And then I wanna make sure that the eyes are really dark. So I'm gonna take my brown twin tone and I'm gonna just darken the little eyes here. Okay, so now we're gonna do kind of do that same thing again. We're going to, um, the same as we did with the other ones, let's do the eggs. And let's color these in a little different. So let's leave the highlight on here. Make sure that's darker on the bottom. And then let's do a little blue egg here. Okay, that looks good. So let's go ahead and put the grass in just like we did before on the other one. And we're going to just kind of tap it in like this. and then just kind of drag that color up. Just pull that color up, kind of up and out. And then I'm just gonna add a little more, kind of right here by the, by the little eggs. So just to maybe tap in a little bit right there. And then let's go ahead and add in the vines. And we're gonna just kind of drag these over. And these kind of over here. I mean, there's no perfect way to do this, you know, and there's no wrong, wrong way to do it. You know, vines can kind of grow however you want them to. Um, so it doesn't, it doesn't matter at all how you put them in here, just however you want to. And that's why these little projects, they're so fun because they're different. Every time you do them, they're, di they're going to be different. Even if you try and you know, I've tried to, <laughs> I've tried to do these and make the same one again. And I never can, I've never make the same exact thing twice. They just never turn out that way. And that's what makes them so unique and special. You know, when you do something that's, you know, handmade for somebody, um, that's why these things are so special because they're so unique and one of a kind. So now I'm just putting in a little of the sky again, just like we did on the other one. A little of this really pretty blue. Let's just put a little bit back in here. You know, and you can see here, I'm just putting a little bit of sky in here and there um, because we don't, we don't have to, we don't have to cover the whole thing with the sky. We get that this is the sky back here. We totally get that just by adding that color in there. All right, let's add some color now to this little bow, just like we did before, the same way. Just put that color on, stay in each section. Just do one section at a time. And part of the reason that we do that is so we don't erase the lines. You know, the lines are still really important uh, but we don't, we just, we don't want it to be an outline, a dark outline. That's what we don't want. Okay, I'm taking that, that bullet tip now, and I'm just going to do the inside of this again, just like we did before. And then we'll do the same thing uh, with the, with the, with the bow, kind of walking its way down. 
down the handle. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, it really doesn't. You, you get the idea that, you know, there's a ribbon on the handle. And it doesn't matter that every little section is exactly the same. Okay, so now let's add in some little blooms. And we're gonna do that with these little dots. Whoops, not yellow. Let me just clean that off a little bit. Not yellow. Let's use this bright um, violet. And I'm just gonna kind of stamp this in here, just kind of in a circle. And maybe just another one up here. And then I'm just gonna just touch it. Like so. And then let's take a little of this dark blue and we're gonna make a little shadow underneath the basket, just like we did before. And a little shadow next to all these little slats in the basket. Good. So let's add in our um, let's add in our florals just like we did before. So let's use the purple on the blooms and then the green on the stems, and we'll just kind of stamp them in here wherever we want. And let's do it again. And you can see I'm not inking the whole stem. I'm just inking about half of it. And then I'm gonna turn this and maybe I'll just get one more up there. And now I can use my small brush and I can just touch, just touch these little blooms. So I can be sure to leave some white spaces in there So cute. And I think, I think these are, these are ready to go. Um, let's add our white paint in here now. So I'm going to get my PH Martins, my bleed proof white and my small brush. And I'm just going to add some white uh, details. And I just dip my brush in the water and then I just kind of dip it into the jar like this. And then I can um, kind of make my brush flat so that I can get some details in here. I wanna add some details to the bows, just some little stripes. And let's just do this one at the same time. Let's get a little more here. And this, you know, again, don't have to be perfect. And I think they're, I think they're better if they're not perfect. some details on that little egg and maybe just some little dots here we could add a little ring I think that's cute and then let's add some little white flowers and just you know just keep dipping it in the in the little jar and just dabbing on. This is my favorite thing to do. I just love, 
I love doing this because it just, it adds so much. And see, I'm just, I'm adding some, some white to these little um, blooms too because it just, it kind of lightens everything up. And brightens everything up. is so cute so let's go over to this one and we're gonna do the same thing just add some white blooms in here and then I'm gonna add some white to my little purple blooms too And let's just put some details on this little blue egg. Let's go over this one more time make that just a little darker okay that looks pretty good I think we are finished with this little project now we just need to uh, well, first we need to cover our white paint put the lid back on and then uh, be sure to sign your work so I'm trying to be you know careful with that too. make sure that I sign everything that I do it's really important to do that. These are, you know, one of a kind. And it's also really fun to look back and see where you've come. You know, even even a few months, if you, if you do this, you know, kind of do it on a regular basis and you really practice and um, it's amazing your progression. You'll see it. You'll see how, your improvement. Uh, I see it all the time. I see it in myself too. So I'm just, you know, adding a few little details in here into these little wooden baskets where it looks like maybe there's, you know, a few little cracks. Maybe the basket's just a little bit old and... Okay, there we are. This project is finished. Next step is to add it into our journal, which we are going to be doing next. So here we go. Now that our artwork is done, our watercolor images are done, we're ready to go on and assemble uh, the center page of our journal. So here is what we've done so far, page one, two, and three, and now we're ready to go on to the center. And I went ahead and added the pages in um, so that we can just continue on here. So let's, go, let's start by just gluing in the accent pieces. Um, I'm gonna put this one into the center. Now this is the same die. Uh, that we used on the cover. So it is from this set right here, this extra die set. So this center page is the same size as the cover. So it's really, it's kind of handy to be able to just um, use that die to uh, glue in your center piece here. So let's do that. Let's just add some glue here. And we're gonna glue this in right to the center. Now be careful that you don't glue it over the spine so in other words, the spine comes together like this. So make sure you've glued it into the center of your score lines. And then we can glue the other two in on the other pages. So just like this. This one here. Make sure that's straight. And then we'll do another one of that same pattern over on the other side. Now you don't have to do these all the same. Um, you can mix it up and do a different one, different color on each page if you want to. All right, so now we've got uh, this in. So let's go ahead and put in our uh, pocket that goes in the center. And it has score lines, so we just need to uh, fold along the score lines. This is from the original die set. So if you have got the journal die set, you have this pocket. And it is just great for um, adding special little things. So we're gonna glue that right into the center. And 
and I'm gonna just leave some of that paper showing on the bottom and just hold that down for a second. This glue dries so fast. So we don't have to wait too long. All right, so now let's go on to the sides and this is where our art is gonna go. And here are our two little paintings that we just finished and they're gonna go on either side like this. So let me tell you um, how I cut these. These are about uh, three and an eighth by two and a half. So I cut a rectangle that size, uh, three and an eighth by two and a half, and then I just cut this decorative edge on both sides. And now we're gonna add a little decorative piece like this, and you can see this, this decorative edge. It is from this set. So it's one of these that go on the inside, and it's actually, it is, uh, which one here? It's, it's, it's this one, this one right here. Let me show you one here. It's this one, and then I just trimmed it down to fit. So I'm gonna glue this one in, and I'm gonna glue the other one in um, about the same, in about the same place. So I cut two of these, one for each size side, and I'm just gonna glue them in just like that. And the same, one, same thing over here. Just kind of eyeball that. I mean, you can measure it if you want to, but you can just eyeball it. It's okay if it's not perfect. And I think I'll put this one because he looks like he's kind of facing to the middle. So I think I'll glue this one in over on the right side. And you just kind of want to space it the same distance from the front or from the top as the bottom. And just kind of get it on here like that. And then we'll do the same for this one over here. Same distance from the top about, and just glue that right in, just like that. So cute. Now you can tuck anything you want into this pocket. Now here's what I did. I took the little cutout from my fence, and it's so cute because it's double-sided. And it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty heavy duty, so I just punched a hole in it, and I'm just gonna put this in here. And actually, this side would be really cute too, so you could use either one. And then I just added a little, um, we made these for the next page, and I just made one more, and I thought it would be cute to just put it on here. Like so, and then it can just tuck in there like that, and we've got just a cute little tag or a bookmark, or maybe you want to put a little sentiment on it. You've got room here for sentiments. Um, you can put them down here. Um, you can add some little butterflies in here. You can just really add a lot of extra little things that will just kind of jazz up your journal. So we have finished the center, and we're ready to move on now to, so this is page one, We've got two and three, we've got four, so we are ready to move on to page six and seven. And then one more tutorial after that. So here we go to the next one.